Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the single number problem. Given a non-empty array of integers, every element appears twice except for one. Find a single one. Note, your algorithm should have a linear runtime complexity. Could you implement it using, without using extra memory? Alright, so in this case, example 1, the input is this array, and 2 appears twice, and 1 appears once. So the only element that appears one time is 1. In this case, uh, you can see that 4 is the only element that appears one time. 1 appears two times, and 2 appears two times. So how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem. First, I'm going to teach you um, a way using a hash set. But this is not the best way. And then I'm going to teach you the best way to solve this problem. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. The first solution is using a hash set. So we can have a set of integer set. And what we can do is that we iterate from left to right for num in nums. Then we check if, if we cannot add the element if we cannot add this number to the set, that means that we have added a number before. So what we can do is remove it because that element appears twice. So if not set that add num, set that remove num. That means that I tried to add this number to a set, but I wasn't able to add the number to a set. So it returns false. So if it returns false, it means that this is true. Not set that add num is true. That means that it is there already. So instead of adding the number, what I uh, it doesn't add it. So I just remove the other one and then they go away. But if the number has not been added, I'm going to add it to the set. So by the end of the f iteration, uh, there will be only one element in the set and that element will be the unique element that they want you to find. So I can return set that iterator that next. So this is going to return that element there. I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right. So this is working perfectly, but this is not the best solution. In an interview, the interviewer wants you to find the best solution to this problem. So what what's the problem with this problem? Uh, what's the issue with this solution? Well, the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the number of elements in the array. The space complexity is also big O of n. So can we do better? Could you implement it without using extra memory? And the answer is yes. Instead of using a set, we can use bit manipulation. We can use um, the XOR property. So remember that if you have two elements that are the same, and you XOR them, you get zero. But if they're different, you get one. And that property extends to numbers as well, not only in bit manipulation, it also extends to integers. So if I have four, if I have, for example, one XOR one, I get zero. Two XOR two, I get zero. But then four XOR zero, I get four. And after XORing all these numbers, I'm gonna get four as a result. And that's going to allow me to reduce the, the space complexity to big O of 1. The time complexity will be big O of n. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So I'm going to uh, reset my code here. Now this is clean. So I'm going to say integer result gets a value of 0. Then for num in nums, I will do an XOR with every number. Result exclusive or equals num and then by the end of the iteration this variable result will have the value of the single number because all the duplicates cancelled out the only number that didn't cancel out was the unique number in this case 4 in this case 2 exclusive or 2 uh, cancel out so it gives 0 and then 0 exclusive or 1 gives you 1 so you return 1 so without further ado, I'm going to run the code. 
all right it seems to be working fine I'm gonna submit a solution this is working perfectly the time complexity is big of n the space complexity is big of 1 if you like this video please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time